Reorganizing things is one of my favorite ways to avoid actual work. So in today's storybook quick tip, I'll show you five ways to tidy tailor and take your storybook sidebar to the next level. Let's dive in. When I first started using Storybook, I thought of naming things like I do on the file system, where I would have these elaborate incantations of underscores and dashes and capitalizations and Zs to make sure that my components and stories ascended or descended in the sidebar the way that I wanted them to. But none of that is actually necessary because Storybook gives us complete control over components and stories and how they're listed in the sidebar. In the Storybook sidebar, categories are just root level groupings or folders with a heading like style. But if you use Storybook 7's auto titling feature, you may want those to look like the directories that can be found on the file system. To make this visual change, open or create a dot storybook manager module. If you're creating it for the first time, we need to paste some boilerplate in. We import the add-ons named export from at storybook slash manager dash API. Then on add-ons, we call the set config function with an object that includes sidebar show roots false. Save that and anytime we touch config, we need to restart our storybook dev server, then refresh our browser. Now our root level categories look like direct Directories, which matches our expectations when we come into the sidebar in our editor. Sorting the categories in the storybook sidebar gives you control over the experience that people reading your storybook get. So maybe you want to put your most important categories towards the top and the least important categories towards the bottom. We use the order parameter option to do that and it looks something like this. Open the storybook preview module, define an options object if one doesn't already exist, add a story sort object, and in it add an order array. Adding a star is like rest parameters, so with only a star we'll get the same default behavior that we have now. But if we want to move pages to the top we can do so by adding pages before our star. This requires a reset, refresh, and now pages shows up before the rest of the default ordering. Now, what if we want to ensure that components goes last? Well, we can add components after our star here. Reset, refresh, and we see that pages is first, components is last, but these two are organized the way Storybook does by default. A quick tip on ordering to avoid confusion, case matters. So whether you're giving explicit titles or using auto titling with the directory names, you need to make sure that the case in order matches the case of your title. Now order also supports subgroups. So let's open up components here and see that we have an avatar button and header. Currently they're in alphabetical order, but we can change those orders explicitly. Directly after components, let's add another item, but have it be an array. Let's place header first, followed by button, and then all the rest. If we reset after this change and refresh, we'll see that the order of components matches what we expressed here. Now, one last thing to note is that we're using uppercase H and B for these because we have auto titles using the file system. Now, this API is admittedly confusing because there's not a shared object for the categories and the nested folders. Just remember that when you see those arrays, those nested folders are for the category that's directly preceding it. Now, I really like this option because it gives me high level control of the experience people have as they come to Storybook for the first time or repeated times. And because of that star, I can prioritize just the categories that I really care about placing without affecting the default ordering that Storybook gives me. When it comes to ordering stories in the sidebar, the process couldn't be easier because because they follow the export order in your modules. When we look at the page component, we see that the stories are not in alphabetical order. We have logged out before logged in. Let's open page.stories.ts, and sure enough, logged out is exported before logged in. So if we take the logged out story and place it below the logged in story, in this page.stories module, we can see that the story order flips. As we add stories, those stories will appear in the order they're exported. The story order is completely up to you, but note that where auto docs are enabled, docs will always appear first. You can sort stories alphabetically in Storybook as well. Open the Storybook preview module. In parameters, options, story sort, 
add the option method alphabetical. For now, I'm gonna delete any explicit ordering that we have in the order array, but we'll come back to that. Restart the storybook dev server and refresh storybook. We see that components are first with avatar, button, and header in that order. Then we have introduction, miscellaneous, and pages. You can double check me, but this is alphabetical. Now, there are two changes I'd like to make. First, introduction should be at the top. Second, I'd also like to see that these story names are alphabetical as well. Back to order, let's add introduction and our star for all the rest. Save this, restart, and refresh. Thanks to ordering, we see that introduction is at the top, but all of these are kept alphabetical. If we look into components and button, we see that docs are still at the top, but everything else is in alphabetical order now. Now, this is not my favorite way to organize components and stories in a storybook, I think that alphabetical has its place. When paired with order, you can control those categories and then have the rest of them fall under an alphabetical sorting, which can be nice. However, when it comes to stories, I much prefer using the export order because I think it's more maintainable over time, allowing you to sort the exports in exactly the way that you need on a per component basis. Okay, we've got one last thing that I wanna show you. If you need absolute control over your sorting and you have an idea, but you don't want to use a bunch of different methods to get all of your components and stories sorted, you have complete control over it by providing a function to story sort. So instead of this object, we'll just paste in a function. This is a fairly standard alphabetic sort function. Restart one last time, refresh, and see that our categories, components, and stories are once again in strict alphabetic order. Now with great power comes great responsibility, so make sure that when you're taking this on, you really have a good idea of what you want to accomplish. Now before you go, there's a couple things that you need to keep in mind. First, sorting does not support parameter inheritance, so you can't do this on a component by component level. You're going to set sorting once in preview and then it's the same everywhere. And finally, as you've seen, anytime you make a change to something in the storybook directory, you need to reset the server and refresh your browser. So if there were any times that I missed showing that, which I think I got all of them, uh, you will need to do that to avoid frustration. So as you've seen today, Storybook supports a ton of ways that you can organize the sidebar to exactly your needs. However, if you have an advanced use case that we haven't covered today, I definitely recommend that you check out the docs. There you'll find a couple things that we didn't cover today, custom story indexers and custom titles. Now, if you'd like to keep learning, I suggest that you watch this video right here on naming stories and components. That's it for me today. I'm Chantastic. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.